Welcome back to Timberborn. My name is Nilas and I will be your guide on this Let's Play as we're progressing. I am so happy to see that so many of you are enjoying the Let's Play as we're progressing. Now, as always, with these kind of Let's Plays, with these kind of, uh, of series, in the beginning, it's very much step by step. But as we progress, then there'll be more of the same steps, like laying out another forest or yet another forest or that kind of thing. So I will be doing some things off camera between sessions so that we can focus on big designs and interesting concepts, which is exactly what we're going to do today. So, for example, extending my water reservoir up here to twice the size. It's not really super engaging, so uh, I'll just do that as well. Uh, likewise, we have expanded our canal here to double the size over on this side and that's also going to be helping us get a better flow through here i hope and let's see so what will we do today well we have a few things that are of note here we have our uh beaver storage called housing oh my and that's it's things are maybe progressing it just a little bit too fast here all right so we have our beaver housing here it's not really sufficient uh, we have seven houses left so that's one thing we need to solve. We have issues that this over here is, uh, this little industry area isn't really generating enough power to keep all of this going uh, during the day. And we also have some industry power over here that's also kind of separate. And then we have some industry here and we'll be expanding this area with more industry. So that means we now have three different locations with industry and the industry is only working when the water is running. So the first thing we want to look at is the invention of batteries, gravity batteries. We can build those up here. They are super cool. And uh, they will be, the longer they can drop down, the more power they can store. And I will then need to get it to this location. This should be pretty simple. All of this is connected. So all we need to do is get that connection. And I think I could just, oh really? Already another one? Hmm. Always seems to be. And... And let's see, uh, let's do that and that one. So once we have this done, I think we might want to get these things sorted first. There. If we get this sorted, then it should be working. And I'll get that one. All right. So with that uh, done, then we can uh, store some power. Hopefully before that, we are also going to over here. There is a massive location that is so good for power storage. So that's another location we'd like to get some more storage. It's going to be pretty expensive. But uh, and what does these take? They take planks, gears, and a bit of metal. All right. One, two, three, four, and maybe even five. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll have another little issue is how do we get the power over there? Well, the challenge is that I will get it on this line. So I will get it. I don't think I want to get it at ground level because we want to make sure that we can go under it. Yeah. So I will be getting it here. That's a good location. There, and here. And then I also need to make sure that I can go across. And in here. So it goes over, this goes over, this goes all the way in. And then get in here. And then I think we need to get additional input here as well. Because... I am at the very extent of my limit here, so it's it's going to be a bit challenging to get the things working. I think it'll this will be fine, and we'll get... No, this will be a ground level. Cool. Let's set this up and uh, see how that's uh, going to work. And this location down here will also need to get some better things because we can't have them spinning around here just to keep going. We are going to use the fact that this is now too wide to make a set up here i'll be making it right there and then we have these giant water wheels they are very nice we'll put that here then we will be able to so we'll basically the idea is that we will consolidate all of these three industrial areas together with 
a new power tower so that we can both have 300 beavers stored I mean, housed in uh, one place. Plus, on top of that, we can also uh, get all the power from the different districts connected. And that's I think that's amazingly uh, important because otherwise you just end up wasting just a huge amount of, uh, of resources here. So that's, uh, let me set up a few of these wheels as well. So that will be uh, another thing that needs to be done. And uh, those are things, just things that once we now designed it, then it's just a matter of getting it done. And uh, let's get that done then. And the first storage is actually already done. Look at these. So how it works is they for each tile here, they can store 200, 2000 hamster power hour. Yes. I don't know if it's horsepower because it doesn't seem reasonable that one, one beaver can deliver 50 horsepower. So we'll call it hamster power anyway. And uh, they can drop down here. And what you can do if you want to be a bit abusive, and uh, then you can just uh, bomb this and just let it go even further down. As that gets further down, then they can store more power here. Now, of course, we just built something in that uh, that voxel there. So now it uh, it only has 1,400 power, 14,000 power. Um, but uh, aside from this, we are also building a little warehouse here. And uh, this is like kind of my, I think this is a good little warehouse design. And uh, I'll just show you how it works, and then we'll uh, get that going. Yeah, we'll get all of that here. And then get some. And, oh, that one can't be there. Go away. Yeah, the two places that I have to go up is this and this. Those are the two locations that I have to go up. And uh, as you can see, we do need to have this much space because I need to be able to go up and around here as well. And then we get like the next level here and inbound here as well, which will go into the top level. And then we can just make some roof on top because, well, why not? And that's going to be here. And this will be our new storage warehouse. Then we have a couple of uh, teeth grinders here and a couple of uh, medical beds there we could also have shrines but that's it's all good so that's uh just basically a little uh, storage warehouse that we have i'm gonna build the same thing down here and we are just gonna make that as well so that we have a uh, good storage in both locations just for everything we need and this is actually enough to to get us basically what whatever we need in terms of uh, of of storage we don't need more than what is uh, available from this and now our drought starts. It's only a five day drought, so no problem. What I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to take all of the pumps here and I'm going to be idling them. This one has a deep little pond so I can consume that, but basically just stop pumping here so I don't consume anything uh, or I only sort of have the evaporation here. So that is uh, should be good. I can also desynchronize this one so we can kind of have a little bit flowing if we really want to. Just a little bit of flow, a little bit of flow here. Um, over here, I can just take this part and I can just get it up here so that we now contain the water here. And if we look at it down there, I've also blocked it off here. So we just retain as much water as we possibly can. This is a nice big reservoir and they are just gradually filling up. I'm going to keep these two flowing because uh, this, these two pumps are only barely enough to keep up with all of them all the large water tanks so we'll keep it uh, like this and in the meantime we'll just get all the other things built here like uh, the water wheels they're not going to be doing anything but by the time we're done with our uh, build then we should be uh, should be good to go uh, actually funny how they choose to go around that's because this is not prioritized really want to have oops this should not be prioritized there we go let's prioritize this part so they don't have to go all the way around to get in here that is quite inefficient Right, get, let's uh, get all of this done. You can see it's already progressing. Slowly it's coming along and uh, we'll just need this drought just to get everything sorted so we can get uh, these ones working. And then we'll start on the next part. Actually, one of the next parts we should actually get started on uh, it is is uh, we need to, if we need to take down this part, and I am, then I also need to remove some of, uh, uh, I need to build another temporary location for our Housing. So that's the next big part is uh, temporary housing. So that means we need to clear out some space here and also clear out this one. Uh, so that space should be good. 
I am also going to clear up some more space on this back side here. Uh, that will have to be taken out some of these things as well. Because I need a 6x7 is going to be the sizing I need for that. And that... Oh no, the glorious bell here has to go. And unfortunately that one has to go as well. But that's not a not a problem right now. Yeah, we can deal with that later on. Because we're going to get it back anyway. It's 200 tiles. Um, yeah, let's let's kill this at some point. Just not right now. And now the drought is over and we have uh, built a few things here. Uh, I'll just take that one out for now. We have built a couple of water wheels. They are super good. Uh, how good? 200? Uh, 200 uh, megawatts? No. Horsepower? It's not very much, but that's because of uh, the flow through here. If I constrain the flow down here and it's also just get, stopping it. So it's uh, coming in. It's going to generate some power, which uh, I'm going to be put into additional lumber mills because nothing was really getting done here because we didn't have any consistent supply of uh, uh, what's called of planks. Uh, so we'll instead of uh, ferrying them in here, let's uh, get them out to uh, the good point here. And we also have a smooth few small double showers and they will now be active as well. So we have uh, successfully made this uh, our... Gravity batteries are slowly sinking. You can see previously it was 1400. Now it's 1800 because I've just hollowed out a bit of a hole there. It's pretty good and it works uh, quite well. Uh, we will be taking that one. We'll be synchronizing with adjacent. That is good. And over here we are working very diligently on getting our gravity batteries up and running. Once that's up and running, those five here, then we have uh, also this part. But the next thing we want to do, uh, we are now also building a diff another... Uh, housing area so once we have the backup housing we're going to be tearing down this housing and replacing with something much much cooler uh, i am using these large row houses they are unlocked and they are the ones that have the highest density they take eight inhabitants and they take eight chunks each so they have the highest density for uh, for uh, bio storage that is uh, going to be it so again we're going to be uh, fast forwarding a bit until we have this one ready and we can start the design of our new uh, tower of housing for beavers now our backup housing is built, so we can now start tearing down our entire build here. And uh, just as they go to bed, I decide to take away their storage. Uh, the, I keep calling it storage. Sorry. Um, there we go. All of this is now gone. I hope this is not a mistake. Who knows? There we go. They're not happy about this. And we have a lot of... Yeah, they'll, they'll find their way. They will find their way. There we go. And... This is the main part that we wanted to build because this is going to be absolutely amazing, this build. There. I'm going to need a bit more space than what I have here. So what I am going to do, let's see, is we are going to get the best housing we can get. That's this one. And we'll make a row like that. And we have a few homeless people that, well, not people, but uh, beavers. Now, that is what it is right now. And uh, let's hold on. Do we have a few that are hurt? So let's get a few of those. Uh, yeah, here. And then also a shrine. Oops. A shrine as well. We'll put that here. Good. Right. Um, on At this point, this is four high. So we need to make sure that, first of all, they have entrances. There we go. And then I need to make sure that I can go up to the next level. Which is going to be uh, requiring a bit of a setup here. And that is three. And then there. So that is actually up to the next level. Which is good. But it gets better. Uh, because actually you can. It's something that I didn't really uh, notice before. We'll get a beaver statue. Thank you very much. And we can actually put the beaver statue below here. And that's really nice because then it affects every single location here. It, it affects all of them. So that's very nice. We can also just get a little uh, shrubbery. And no, shrubberies don't like being underneath something. So we'll just get the shrub here. Because we don't need that. Uh, no, we can't do that. Uh, this will just be open then. Here. Now, that is the ground floor. Now we're going to go up to the second floor. And then I'm just going to go like this. And then like this so that is now the next floor and at this level we are going to uh, there's nothing at this location but that's okay because as you can see that will just continue upwards and again up 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 
up and then we need to get our roads here. And at that point we can make another level. Obviously they are orange because they can't really get up here yet. There we go. And that is then continuing. We are going to build another level like that and another level like that. And then we are going to get one, two, there, there. And again, up a level. And our... There we go. And you guessed it, we are going to build another level. So now we have three levels. If you keep building up, you can build one more level. And this is, of course, dependent on where you are. I'm in the terrace map, which is already at the really high point. So we are getting close to the skybox. Uh, if you're in another place, you can probably make it a lot higher. Uh, but that is not our option, unfortunately. So we're going to build it this height. And let me see. Do I want that? Yes. There, because we also want to go up to the next level. But we do not need to get as much. Uh, this one, I think we do. So now comes the interesting part about this. Well, everything about it is interesting. I am also just going to take out this part. Because that's not necessary. It doesn't lead anywhere. Right, so now at this point, what are we going to build all the way up here? What would be the coolest thing now that we have something that is really high up? Well, of course, it's going to be gravity batteries. Because they, then they will be part of this giant design. There we go. And we now have some location, so location over here. And uh, that will be used for some cool things, such as a statue of awesomeness. Uh, there we go. And we'll have the other statue that we just destroyed. We'll put that here. Then I think it would be more appropriate if we built our bill up here. Oh, what's that? That's the viewer statue. We don't even need to be just do a statue. We can get the, this one here. And I'm just going to make it slightly higher priority so it gets done before all of that. Uh, what we will need to do is we will need to make a connection here to connect the two sides. But that's uh, something we're going to have to do at the very end. Um, because otherwise they can't move around up here if I uh, if I do that. We will also need to, at this point, make some roofs, I guess, because uh, that will just give them the roof buff down there, which isn't, I mean, it's not great to just build some silly little roofs here, but it's, uh, it's going to work. So now we have something massive built up here. But if I make gravity batteries here, we are going to need to get things connected. And that's going to be the next big thing. And that is, you want each of these three industrial areas to be connected into this one. And that's going to be taking a bit of a uh, bit of a bit of work here, bit of work. So for example, uh, I will want to build this in a at a height here, three. Um, and I'm thinking that if I build it at height three, then if I build it at height two, they can go below. And then No, I'm going to build it at height 3. I'm just going to build it at height 3 here. And then get down this level. And somehow in this location. So let's have a look at this location. And because I need to be able to get up here without disrupting it. So let's see. And uh, that means I need... This is the lowest we can do. So that means here... And that's a perfect. Up, up, and a turn. And then same level. And then up, and then up. Going over. And here comes the kicker, is that as I want to build this, it's I have to build it in sequence, which is going to be an absolute nightmare. And uh, that means I need to get them because, okay, so the thing is, they can build this from, from downstairs, but building something up here, if, for example, they build this one, then they can no longer be able to get over here. So I'm going to have to make a, build them all in sequence. This is going to be a nightmare. So we're going to design it now, and then uh, we'll just uh, cut that out there and here. So we're going to come out here and then have roads down there it's even going to be worse than that because i have to get down these stairs which means i have to build stairs like that 
just to keep over and build this one. Like everything else, I think we can build from downstairs. I think maybe not even that one. So all of this, this one cannot be built until I build the entire blockade here and then all the way over. And we're going to do the same thing for the other locations. So this one should be easier, I hope. And we're going to start at three levels high. Go this way, go this way, go this way. And then we need to figure, oops, too high and maybe get a level one here. Yeah, I think we need to do something. I think that needs to be blown up. Okay, we'll need to make some changes to this. And like that. And the first thing I need to do is blow this one up. So let's get that highest priority so I can blow this up and then I can build. And I'm going to take the power out from here instead. Going to that one. And that will be... Yeah, I, can't, I can no longer go past that. Who cares? It's not going to be important anyway. And... Going up... A lot of switching back and forth here and actually then if i'm doing it this, this way then i might as well get further up now there we go and that will be another line up and then we have the same issue here as you can probably imagine we are going to do get and need an absolute insane amount of resources to build this but on the other hand once it's built it is going to be absolutely glorious there. And the last one is going to be the absolute worst because it is not possible to go over this location and it's not possible to go over here. So I'm going to have to go across from this location. And then it might be worthwhile to try to figure out how, how many of these have to go up there. Look at how many we have to, have to build. That's level two, that's level one, and then I have to build to destroy a little path here, like that. Oh, they're actually coming over here to build it. That's because they haven't even realized how much work they have to do themselves, because that's going to be a lot. And I will be building from here. That location will be... I'm building all of this now so that we can kind of get a sense of how big it has to be. And then it's just a matter of just getting it done. That's two and that's three. And then we continue with the three, 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 three. And over to this location. And then get in here. And yeah, just a bit. It doesn't look like it's aligned. It is not aligned. Wow, that's uh, unfortunate. Hold on. Forget about this. Instead, take out this line. Yeah, that's much much more reasonable. And wheat here. And let's see. So as we look at this location, we're going to have the same issues. This can be built. This can be built. This one I don't think can be built. That means we need to get another location here. And I'm going to get use. Uh, how are we going to do that? I'm going to take you out. Whoops. Did I just lose all my stuff? I don't know if I did. There. There. You're going to go up. You're going to go here. And I'll get that one back here. And now we have a way up. It can go to both sides and it can go here. That one. And we will need to get this part deconstructed as fast as possible. Okay. 
That is a monstrous amount of uh, construction and is not even everything because uh, what it, it doesn't even include is all the stuff on top that I also have to build. This is just basically looking at the infrastructure to what I want to build. And there we go. And I will then be making this into here, which will then go up. So now with once all of this is done, uh, shortly, right? Shortly this one will be done. Yeah. We're going to be able to figure out how much of this gets built from this side and how much we're going to build from this side. Because we're going to be using a middle out algorithm where we start from here and then work our way out into both locations. Because I think that'll be the most optimal uh, algorithm to use for this. Whew. Take a deep breath. And uh, this is where there's a difference between being a viewer and a creator. Because uh, I'm going to be spending a couple of hours just setting all this crap up. And then we'll be just wishing away and then taking a look at it as it is almost ready for completion. Now we're closing in both on the next uh, next milestone, but also on uh, our objective here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to hook this up. And hopefully we can get this done before... Uh, before the next drought comes in and that should be here so with these upgraded that's already built no it's not it's getting built there and this one is getting built as well and up here we have now connected everything so the, what we have 26,000 in each of these this is now connected so all of this is now connected up to this massive power storage and if we can just get that one there we go we can see that even higher and down here as well, it goes all the way and gets into this one. So any, anywhere we click, we are going to get the same power set up there. And it also goes into this location, which is super amazing. And it looks absolutely wonderful. And not only does it look wonderful, but it has the advantage that it uh, transfers power both up and down and uh, around. So building this is just absolutely gorgeous. And we're just going to be uh, getting in here. What I am what I have built in the meantime, I've built this thing. Uh, I think I'd want to build to just get a little boost of water into this location again. Uh, so we're going to be putting this one up to level two so that we have the water filling up. Yep, like that. That should be going in here, as you can see, flowing in and filling this up as high as we possibly can. And we are now starting to get like really nice goals uh, coming along as well. Uh, this is because we have the Flame of Progress somewhere as well. We have the Flame of Progress is uh, adding quite a bit as well. So we need the Tribute of Ingenuity. That's still a bit expensive. Carousels, Mud Bath, Books. Well, the book, books could be better. Rooftop Terrapse is really difficult to get. Maple Pastries will need to get that as well. So we'll have, a, we'll have a few more things getting in here. And I think this might have as much water as we can really expect it to get at this point. I'll just start letting it pass through again. So we can get... All this. So the benefit of all what we have here is now that we do have power uh, during the night. Well, we have this operating and we have this one operating. Not a lot, but just a bit. Just a bit. And then we have these two operating. They're also doing... Whoa, how is that not connected to anything else? What? Oh, no, no, no. It is, it is connected. It is the same one. Okay. It's just these are not generating very much. And now the drought starts... And whoops, and then we have a uh, really will be having problems as we start up on the day. It's only a five day one, so that's not really a problem at all. But what we will see now is that as this stops flowing, and it will stop flowing because I want to capture the water we have, we just lead it in here, and I want to make sure that we also make sure that the water we have in here gets uh, gets to stay in here, so we we keep everything green and happy around here. And I also need to. This isn't really necessary when it's only a five-day drought, but let's uh, let's do the same, the, the correct thing in all cases. And that means we have now this one. If we look at our supply, we can now see that we have we are just not able to produce very much. Right? What are we producing? We're producing from this one, which will now be taken out, and we're producing from this uh, engine here. The engine is the only thing that actually produces power, and the rest of it is just being drawn from all of our batteries here. So all the batteries are going to be emptied. If we look at one, two, three, four, five, six times 20, uh, 26,000, we have something over here. I mean, this is an un 
reasonably amount of uh, of storage we have. So as long as we can get enough during the day that we can top it up, that means we can now last through the drought and have every single one of our buildings working at full speed. Uh, we will need to add just a few more down here, a few more. Um, there is no constraint as far as I've seen about sort of putting it in sequence. That's not going to be uh, decreasing the flow or anything like that. So get more. That's good. Um, and then we'll also be working on more farms. But I wanted to, to make this. What we've now done is we have this glorious location. A power tower that is uh, serving both with power as well as uh, as distributing the power to all different parts. And I will now be, whatever I'm making, I will be hooking up to the central power supply so that everything shares power. And it's just the right thing to do. Uh, maybe not in the beginning, but uh, at this stage, it's definitely necessary to have a single power grid uh, for all of the base. So I hope this was useful and interesting and engaging. If it was, you know where the like button is, you know where the subscribe button is. You also can come into uh, my Twitch stream because if you manage to stay all the way to the end of this, I will have a thing for you. I will be giving away some keys to uh, Timberborn. Thank you to the developers. And I'll be giving them uh, during my live stream tonight. So come on into Twitch slash Nilaus, Twitch TV slash Nilaus, and um, come and join. And of course, if you're not watching on the day of release, well, uh, you kind of missed a chance. Sorry about that. But do come on over to a Twitch anyway. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.